Chapter three: Plants grow up. Most plants start their、um, lives as seeds. At first, they live inside or on their parent plants. Plants keep their seeds in different places. Some plants keep their seeds in pods. Some of the seeds are in here, or protective cases. Pod is another word for protective cases. It protects the seeds. You see, not all plants have pods. Some keep their seeds in fruits. See the seeds inside the fruit. Many fruits have seeds on the inside. Strawberry seeds are on the outside. Apple seeds are in are in the inside. Dandelion. When the seeds are ripe, it's time for them to leave their parents' plant. They need their own space to grow. Seeds have many ways of traveling to their new homes. Some seeds use the wind. Dandelion seed floats from one place to another. Maple seeds twirl like helicopter. Burr pods often get a ride. This is called bird pod. They stick to the animal、oh, that walk by. The animals drop them off at their new homes, and that's how the seeds are spread. Soon the seeds fall to the ground. Now each has its own space. It is ready to grow into a plant. First, the seed splits open. It splits open. Then the new plant's root. Push down into the soil. See the shoot. The roots grow long. They gather water. The plants shoots grow up out of the soil. The plant grows taller and stronger. Many plants will also grow flowers. Flowers help make new seeds by creating pollen. Pollen is a powder that travels from one flower to another flower. Flowers attract insects with their smells and bright colors. Pollen sticks to the insects; it will stick to the insect, and that's how bees fly from one flower to the next. They leave pollen inside. That's called pollination. Once the plant has new pollen. It can create seeds. Without bees and other pollinators, it would be hard for some plants to grow. They are an important part of plants' life cycles. Now the plant loses its flowers, new seeds grow, and the cycle starts over. Pea pods. Your turn. These seeds are ready to travel to their new homes. How do you think each seed will get there? Take a look at this backyard. How many ways to travel can you see? It might stick to a dog, right? And that's how it spread seeds. A dog might have some burrs on its hair or fur. Dandelion can be spread by the wind. 